What's up, guys? I'm Chris. Sean. And this is the Whiskey Noobs. All right, so we're going to move on to another one we thought would be uh, a crowd favorite. And there's probably a lot of folks out there that were saying, hey, if you're doing a tasting, you got to include something from Buffalo Trace. Yeah. So we're going to go with the entry-level Buffalo Trace. We had a few other bottles we could have chose from. Uh, we're going to go with the basic. We're going to go with that because we want to keep the proof down. Mm -hmm. uh, we want to keep it to you know simpler flavors. Um, and this is Kentucky bourbon. Yeah. So you're going to get, this is bourbon. So you know okay. we're moving into that realm of where in Tennessee they do some things a little bit differently, yeah, you know, with some filtering filter. and things like that. Yeah. They're going to change the flavor profile. We're moving into bourbon territory of where this is going to give you an exposure to what bourbon is. Okay. Now, I will say this. He says it doesn't like sweet. Mm-hmm. The sweet is not a flavor profile that I assign to Buffalo Trace. It's not me either, yeah. I, I, and I don't want to talk too much about it, yeah. so I'm not going to talk about the flavor, flavor profile before you try it for sure. But here's the other thing that I would say is that, um, you know, Buffalo Trace from a cost standpoint uh, to flavor is a really good, in my opinion, it hits that sweet spot. Um, you know, it, it, here we get it for about $39.99. Um, is it? Or oh, no, no, like $28. Is it 28 okay. Like so, 28 bucks. Um, oh, that's right. The, it was the uh, Wellers I was looking at. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's $28. Yeah. So, yeah, so it, it's below 40 bucks, which is where we always, that's a sweet spot for us, because if you can get a below $40 with the complexities and the different flavors that we're about to try, um, yeah, that's a that's a sign of a really good whiskey. Now, where we live here in North Carolina, this is usually a lottery item. Yeah. Um, if, if you get in well enough with uh, the folks at your ABC store, um, and they have extra bottles in the back. You know, I, I have bought Buffalo Trace. Um, actually, I think this bottle uh, was one that I asked for, and they brought it out of the back for me. So yeah. you can get it. Um, if yeah, you... Sometimes you have to ask your local places if they maybe stash it, because sometimes they just don't want it out on the shelf you know, for everybody. Yeah, when they start recognizing your face, that's usually when you can start getting stuff. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I can get Eagle Rare and Buffalo Trace. Some of the other higher tier Buffalo Trace products, you do have to wait for the lottery around here. Yeah. So um, we're saying you have to drink all the time to get the good stuff. Yeah, yes. pretty okay. much. They okay. have to yeah. know you. You know, it's great. I mean, <laughs> now <laughs> I know what the world is about. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and there's places on the West Coast where you walk into a Costco and, and <laughs> they have it really? all day long. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yes. It may not be that price, but you'll get it. Yeah, yeah. all I mean, day long. Just wow. walk in and pick it up. Okay. Yeah. So. I really want to know if that single barrel Jack Daniels is is filtered because I, I'm telling the you, the nose on this Buffalo Trace is it's even more it's, more punch than mm -hmm. the single barrel Jack Daniels. It does, and it's very. I'll say I, I always get a cherry from Buffalo Trace on the nose, very fruity um, to start. Not necessarily sweet, but just a, a kind of a. What are you picking up? I I get I get a lot of the smoothness at front. Mm -hmm. But as soon as I start to breathe out, I get a lot of that burn. Okay. That's interesting because it, the proof difference on this, that's actually higher proof than that. That's a 45. So that's a really? 90, it's right yeah. at 90. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that's that's interesting. I'd be curious to see the, the <clears throat> aging difference because that can make a difference too. Like if something's a little younger, sometimes yeah. you get some of that uh, the alcohol. That was okay. Still, um, now, I don't feel but, a lot of it, but I do do get a sense of the burning coming back out of my nose. Okay. And I, I can see it's spicy. Uh, Hence, but, and I will say this, since you've already kind of given your thing, Buffalo Trace is known to be spicy on the okay. nose, you know, and so that's just kind of what it's known for. Okay. You know, okay. See if you get that on the palate, though. What were you saying? So the Jack Daniels single barrel is made by the same process as the Jack Daniels seven. Okay. Um, but it tends to be aged for five and a half, five and a half to six years, um, but never less than five years, and occasionally as long as eight years. The single barrel. The sing uh, no, the, no the number seven. Okay. Oh, and wow. then on average, the single barrel is aged sometimes eighteen to twenty four months longer. Then so we're talking eight seven. to ten years. So, so they are both charcoal filtered, which explains why I'm not picking up as much of a nose on that yeah. probably than I am on the Buffalo Trace. So from an aging process, that one complexity wise, even compared to the Buffalo Trace, I think the Buffalo Trace is just a couple of maybe four years or so, but um, has definitely aged longer in a barrel, which is probably why 
you didn't get that. So let's talk about how well, we, how how it tastes. And and I know I got the I got the feel of the burn mm-hmm. um, off the off the nose of it. Um, ooh, tasting it, it's good. it was it was good in the mouth. It was okay. I, I didn't mind it in the mouth. It was good. <clears throat> Not my forte. Um, but then I got a burn like up here, like that. I haven't had a burn there. That was it. Was it was very spicy. Could be a spicy burn. This yeah. is yeah, a very, it, was, it is a spicy bourbon. It's yeah. probably one of the spicier bourbons. And to me, it almost drinks more rye. I was gonna say, I wonder what the rye mash is. Yeah, it, it, it drinks more rye. I, I, th- I think they use two different mash bills. Um, I'm not sure they give percentages, but um, it definitely drinks more like a rye than most bourbons. Yeah, I definitely get a lot of fruit out of this. I wouldn't. It's not never sweet to me. It's a spicy fruit. Is what I get from Buffalo Trace. I, I wanted I to try a wild turkey. <coughs> and I really think the 101 would have been a good entry to Kentucky bourbon just because it's going to give you those yep. more traditional bourbon flavors. Uh, I'm out food. of wild turkey because it's like one of my favorite things to drink. So I need to replace them. Um, a rare breed would have been nice too. Yeah. Um, but yeah. So not your jam? I, I don't know. I don't know. I think okay. I think I could deal with that. Um because it has a little bit of a burn, like, you know, because I've always drank number seven, but <coughs> it has a good burn and a really good taste. We call that the warm hug. And, yeah, well, see, yeah, Kentucky, yeah, yeah, Kentucky it, hug. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, well, Kentucky number hug. seven doesn't have that flavor to it. Yeah. I mean, when I drink number seven, I'm just, just, just drinking Jack Daniels. You're and, shooting you know, over the beer, That's right? all I'm yeah. doing, yep. you know. Yeah. That has a good flavor in the mouth. As yeah. soon as I swallow it is whenever I feel yeah, the and, and, that's, and that's yep. that's the alcohol. Yep. and so that's where you build up a tolerance to that alcohol, okay. and then it's not going to cause it because it it can. That's the biggest challenge for people getting into whiskey. I think mm-hmm. is being able to get past the alcohol burn to be able to get to the flavors. Right. right. You know. And, and here's another thing I'll say, and I and I've kind of stood by this. The when there's an alcohol burn, I I call it just like um. Like it's not quite aged long enough, you know, or not yeah. not quite aged. Not that's a that's not the right way to put it. it it's just got kind of a young flavor sure. to it. It's kind of a young raw, yeah. you know, Craft where craft distillers. It, know, yeah, it, it, it hasn't had that time to age to where because there's some stuff that's and we we'll tr- try this in a minute, but there's some stuff that's higher proof that you don't get that 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 hot nasally burn from. And I think I would like that a lot. Right, and and you don't get that hot nasally burn where, because I didn't, we didn't get that from the single barrel because it's been right. aged for quite a ways longer, but the Buffalo Trace is known for that young, spicy hotness, yeah. you know? And so I, I think that's where, um, you know, I separate some stuff sometimes. And so we jump from 47 proof to 45. <coughs> 45, not much of a difference. Yep. Oh, okay. So that yeah. one's actually had a more pr- higher proof to it. Yeah, this is your standard bourbon territory. 45% is like okay. your standard for, and that's me and Sean, that's our entry. Yeah. Like if we see something below 45, yeah. I'm just not that excited about yeah. it. And we really getting to the point now where we love bottled and bond, which is 100 proof. That's that minimum. And right higher. And, and we're really getting into the world of where <coughs> the bottle's not 100 proof. I'm not really reaching for it at the moment. Yeah. And I wouldn't say we're proof snobs. We just, we know what we like. Right. And, right. and, and we, you know, we like things with a higher proof. Mm-hmm. Because once you get the hang of the alcohol, that proof really helps deliver the flavor. And yeah, I mean, yeah. it just, it, it hits. And we're going to find that out next. We're going to take a really short break. Um, you won't know. You won't know. We'll come right, I mean, like, it's going to be like, boom, and we're back. I'll probably have a new Miller Lite by the time you get back. Infinity gauntlet. <laughs> boom. <laughs> All right, so I, I do want to I do want to make a statement. Um, you know, after after a little bit of research, and, and Chris is like, I don't want to correct you. I'm like, you know, um, Buffalo Trace is a minimum of eight years of blended whiskeys, and I said four. Um, that just goes to I'm a whiskey. So worried about the correction. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm a whiskey new, but I just don't want to give uh, improper information. But I, I will say this: it tasted like a four year, and and that's all I'm going to say. It's had a, a younger flavor to it. Flavor. I, I agree with you, and yeah. and Buffalo Trace, it's it's. I think it's good whiskey. Yeah. I don't That's think it's bad. necessarily worth a hunt. Yeah. You know, I'll ask for it just so I have it on my shelf for folks to try because when we have people over, that's when they recognize like, and go, oh, oh, oh Buffalo Trace, Trace, and they get excited. Yeah. yeah. And that's great. And l- lots of people love it. Um, yeah. I actually prefer Eagle Rare. Um, that, you know, if I can get the Eagle Rare, I prefer that. And or the Taylor, you know. There's yeah. Alex again. He's such a <laughs> jerk. Right. Stop being a jerk. All right, so let's uh, let's move on to our final one because I am. This is the one I'm most excited about to do because we kind of like progressed over. I can't, like we can't. 
Oh, we have to pause. Let's all look at the camera while Alex barks. He'll stop. Good. All right. So, <laughs> so this one, I'm, I'm probably most we progressed to the. I'm most the excited. Well, Chris loves this. I one. am excited about it. Not because I care if Keith likes it. <laughs> I love it.